What's up, everybody? This is DJ Endo, instructor at Dubspot and DJ product specialist at Native Instruments. Today, I'm going to show you guys a cool new way of organizing your music in iTunes by using Smart Playlists. So, Smart Playlist is like a special playlist in iTunes that will automatically filter through your music collection and make playlists for you that automatically update themselves based on attributes that you set for the playlist. To make a smart playlist, I'm going to go to my file menu in iTunes and I'm going to choose new smart playlist. Now I get this smart playlist window when I do that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the attributes for the playlist. So for example, I can say match the following rule. Artist contains I'll just write Kaiser Disco. And when I hit OK in iTunes, it makes a playlist with all of my Kaiser Disco tracks. Uh, and you can see that in the artist field, all of these artists say Kaiser Disco. Here's how I get the remixes to show up in my smart playlist. I can actually edit the playlist by control clicking on the playlist and saying edit smart playlist. Now I can actually add attributes to this playlist. So right now I have artist contains Kaiser Disco but I can actually add another attribute by clicking on this plus button here. And I can also say name and name is the title field right here. Name contains Kaiser Disco. And then up at the top, I'm going to change this from match all of the following rules to match any of the following rules. So it can either contain, the artist can either contain Kaiser Disco or the name can contain Kaiser Disco. Also, I'm going to want to make sure live updating is turned on so it updates my playlist live as I bring in new tracks. And I'm going to, uh, I'm going to keep these two options turned off. And I'm just going to hit OK and now it added some of the Kaiser Disco remixes. So the way that I organize my smart playlist in iTunes is by making playlist folders. So you can make a playlist folder just by clicking File and New Playlist Folder and it will make a new folder in iTunes that I can add playlists inside of. So I'm going to delete that. So now I'm going to take you on a tour through my playlist folders. The first playlist folder is my 2011 folder. This contains all the tracks that I have gotten in 2011 that's broken down by genre. And if I control click on this playlist and say edit smart playlist, you can see the attributes that I've set. So the date added is after February 1st, 2011. So the next playlist folder that I've made is artist playlists. So if I control click on one of these playlists and say edit smart playlist, you can see that this smart playlist, the attribute says artist contains DJ Dan, name contains DJ Dan, just like I did with my Kaiser Disco playlist. So now when I bring a DJ Dan track into my iTunes library, it's going to go right into this smart playlist here automatically. Now the next smart playlist folder I have is called color folders. Now, this playlist folder was actually inspired by Pioneer's Rekordbox software. Now, one of my favorite parts of Pioneer's Rekordbox software is that you can actually color your tracks. So you can see on the right that I have this color column. And you can see that I've colored my tracks purple, blue, aqua, green, orange, red, and pink. The next playlist folder that I use is comment playlists. And a few of my uh, most common comment playlists are openers, groovers, and bangers. And this is actually something that we cover in our online school. So uh, let's just go to groovers here. And I'm going to click on edit smart playlists. And you can see for groovers, the attribute is comments contains groove because um, sometimes I write groovy sometimes I write groover so the way that I tag my tracks in iTunes is when I get a new track what I do is I write I make sure the artist is written correctly 
I make sure the name is written correctly. I also use the program Mixed in Key, which will write in the key of every track into my comments field. And then in my comments field, I'm going to write either opener, groover, banger, or closer. So I write comments into every track, and the smart playlists are actually feeding off of my comments. And I also write into the album artist, I write the color. So my next playlist folder is genre playlists. So these playlists are broken down by genre. So for example, I have my tech house. If I control click on this playlist and edit smart playlist, you can see the genre contains tech house. Now this brings me back to what I was talking about before with my year playlists. Now if you go to my 2011 tech house, you can see that this smart playlist is feeding off of another smart playlist. So if I go to the edit the smart playlist, date added is after February 1st, 2011, but the playlist is tech house. And I have this gear icon next to tech house, which means that this is a smart playlist. So this 2011 tech house folder is actually feeding off of this tech house folder that's in my genre playlists. Now another thing I do when I prepare my music in iTunes is I rate every single track that I get. Now I have a rating system that is based on one through five stars. Now with that said, I'm going to take you to the highest rated folder. Now my highest rated folder contains smart playlists that are based on tracks that are four stars or above. So for example, I can go to my highest rated house folder. And if I control click on the playlist, I can say edit smart playlist. And I'm saying match all of the following rules. Playlist is four or five stars. Playlist is house. Now this is my own way of making this playlist, but you can also say rating is greater than three stars genre contains house now the next playlist folder that I'm going to take you on a tour through is a very complicated playlist folder I've made called key playlists now these are actually smart playlists that are made with the key in mind now to get the key of a song, I use this program called Mixed in Key, which will analyze my music files and will actually write the key of the files into the file tag. And I actually have the Mixed in Key preferences set up, so it's going to write the key in front of the comments field. So in iTunes, you can see in my comments, I have these numbers like 4A, 2A. And what these numbers correspond to is a wheel, it's called the Camelot Easy Mix System, which gives me a key code such as 2A for the key of E flat minor. If you want to learn more about harmonic mixing, I actually did a harmonic mixing video tutorial on the Dubspot blog. So when I drag my tracks in the mixed in key and I analyze them, if I control click or right click on this 4A playlist and say edit smart playlists, let's take a look at all the attributes that we have set for this playlist. So the first one is comments starts with 4A. And that's the main one we're looking at. So anything that starts with 4A in the comments will show up in this 4A playlist. Now you can also see that I have a bunch of other attributes set in this playlist, such as comment starts with 1A, 4A, 2A, 4A, etc. Because sometimes mixed in key has a problem with guessing the keys, and it will actually give you two options of what the key will be. For example, 3A, 4A. So now iTunes is taking all of the possible tracks that could possibly be in 4A, and it's putting it into this smart playlist called 4A. Now another folder that I've made inside of my key playlist folder is harmonically compatible playlist folder. So if I click on four possibilities, this is every track 
that could possibly mix with a track that's in the key of 4A or F minor or 4B. So if I control click on this four possibilities playlists, you can see it says match any of the following rules. Now, this playlist is feeding off of my other key playlist folders. So I have playlist is 4A, playlist is 3A, 5A, 4B, etc. So these keys right here are actually all of the compatible keys that will mix with uh, 4A or 4B. Now with all that said, after all of this organizing and all of these smart playlists, at the end of the day, it's all about what happens when you get to the gig. Now this brings me to the most important folder in my smart playlist collection. It's called gig playlists. If I open up this gig playlist folder, you can see I have this playlist, it's called gig playlist. Now this gig playlist is every song that I might want to play at a certain gig or club. And once I've dragged all of the songs that I might want to play into this gig playlist, I have all these smart playlists here that will actually feed off of my gig playlist folder and will take all of my possible songs that I might want to play and will actually categorize them into their own playlists. So for example, here's my gig playlist. If I click on house, and I control click on this playlist, I'm saying for this smart playlist, the playlist is house, which is my house music genre smart playlist, and playlist is gig playlist. So it's taking all of the house from my gig playlist and putting it into its own smart playlist. Now another very important playlist folder that I have inside of my gig playlist is keyed options. And now I'm actually going back to my key possibilities. So let's say I'm playing a track that's in 6A or G minor. I actually have every track that will mix with a G minor track inside of this six possibilities playlist. So this smart playlist is feeding off of my six possibilities smart playlist and it's also feeding off of my gig playlist. So after I've made all my smart playlists in iTunes, I can actually display all of my smart playlists directly inside of Traktor by going to the iTunes node inside of Traktor. And you can say I have all of my smart playlist folders. I have my gig playlists. And I can find the tracks that I'm looking for really quickly and everything is super organized for me inside of Traktor. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. For more tutorials, visit dubspot.com. Peace. Welcome to Dubspot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, Dubspot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore Dubspot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.